Okay, I'm going to do my best to explain this vertical cut I'm making. Uh, some other guys call it like the triple hinge. There's a lot of names for this. But as you can see, this tree's leaning hard straight away from me, and I want it to come over here. You know, I got this thing's balled up on it, got vines. This is a total mess. Um, probably isn't the best one to show this on. But the first thing I'm going to say is don't do this. Okay, I'm doing this in an area where if this tree breaks off and goes the wrong way, it can't hurt nothing. I mean, this is a total clear cut. I mean, you can't really see. We're just knocking this over to beat the brown bats. And this is a cherry. And I will say this cut, this technique is species specific. You could get away with a lot more on certain trees than you can with others. You know, brittle trees like cherry's not good. Walnut's not good one to do it with. Um, we have black birch here in Pennsylvania. You could do that. Works great with that. It works great, really good with hickory. As you know, sometimes you don't even have to do that because hickory holds on so good. That right there is why you never get under a tree hanging from vines. A little six inch tree, but boy, it could still hurt you. But anyways, getting back to what I'm doing here. The hickory will hold really well. You know, you can get away with a lot more with the hickory. And uh, red oak, white oak. But the thing I noticed with this is you got to get up out of the butt swell, out of the root flares. You got to get where the fibers are starting to get straight, you know, real good and perping, you know. You, we're down here, they're, they're coming out like this and like this and they don't hold as well. So you, you got to come up out of this butt swell a little bit. You know, yeah, you're wasting a little material, but nine times out of 10, when you're cutting hard, you know, leaning trees, swinging it like this, it's not a veneer tree. It's usually not the greatest of quality trees because it's, you know, how it's hanging and growing on a hillside. But uh, I lost my train of thought. Some bitch in ADD. Damn. But anyways, it's species specific. Now, as you can see, I'm up out of my butt swell. I've got this nice notch cut out, good and clean. I got this bore cut. You can see it goes completely through. And I don't know if you can see through on this one. This is cut through too. So I got about an inch and about an inch. And the idea of this cut is, you know, the triple hinge being, you, you come back another one and make another cut. So you have three hinges. And the idea is as this tree's swinging, you know, as you release it and it's coming across, as this hinge fails, you have this to break it up before this one starts to fail. So this one fails, it breaks off basically as the tree gets to about to here and then as it goes a little bit further, this one starts to break. In this instance, you know, being a smaller tree, I couldn't do the triple. I had to do a double. But then, you know, on a bigger tree with the triple hinge, you know, once this one fails, then the next one catches. And from what I understand, and I could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, somebody please correct me because I don't want to put something out there that's not. This is just why I think it works. You know, I'm not saying this is the actual reason, but the idea is, you know, you separate them hinges and when the last one, the first one fails, the next one grabs. So the tree goes a little bit further. Once it goes and breaks off, then the next one, you know, and so on. And the idea being once it's your hinge is pretty much broke off, your tree has reached a point to where it's going to just, you know, lay down. It's not going to want to go out away from you anymore. So I always bore these, trigger them. Some trees that are really leaning, you gotta cut out the back side and come around on them. Like, you know, you, you come around with your saw like this. But this one here is not that hard. But once again, for everybody out there, the people, there's people that know how to do this and they know how to do it awesome. I'm just learning this cut. I've been cutting for 13 years and I'm just learning it now. And it's, you know, it's, you know, don't be go out there and think you could use this technique for a tree that's hanging over someone's yard or, you know, or just you're going to go out in the woods and cut this. Please don't. I'm just telling you in this video why I think it works. So there's other guys out there that know this better than me and they're a little reluctant to share a lot about it. 
for that reason and I don't blame them this is not a how-to this is just a how I do it so once what I'll do is I'll release this here you know cut my trigger get the hell away and it should come right around so let's see if I could set this up on a stump here in somewhere where you guys can watch it hopefully How about this? How's that? There, how's that? Case is open. All right, now as you can see, I tickled this a little bit. Didn't want to go. I left my hinges just a hair too big. Once again, like I said, I'm not the best at this. I'm still learning. So you, you can see, you can see here as it went, this one broke off. Once that one pulled so far, then this one went. Not well, you can see that, but. And it went right where I wanted it, laid it out across the side of the hill here. So, but all right, I hope that helps explain it to some people. I'm not the best narrator. I might have confused you more than I helped you, so please do research on this. There's classes. I think Logger Wade had that class he took with them fellas out in Indiana. I'd love to go take that class. That's a smart old boy. So, well, hope that helped you. Once again, don't do it. Just, you know, and there's people, the people that know how to are good. And uh, the people that are, are getting ready to learn how to do it, you got to have a lot of experience. And I, I probably don't have enough myself yet. So, like I said, I've just been trying it out here just to try to get the feel of it. Over now.